What's going on, everyone? E-Man here for the C-List Villains Podcast in the E-Man's World of Geek. Today, my boy Jumpman209, the king of pops, and I, we're here at the East Bay Comic Con here in Concord, California. We're about to go check out some pop culture goodness, check out some comic books. Why don't you guys come along for the ride? Created in 1979, the East Bay Comic Con was born out of necessity when a few friends couldn't make it to San Francisco for the Bay Area's biggest con at the time. Putting all of their efforts together, the team of friends held their first con at the Centennial Hall in Hayward, California, calling it the Supercon. The team enjoyed many years building their cons at Hayward, eventually changing the name of the show to the Hayward Con. Then, a tough decision was made by the city that would affect the future of the con. Centennial Hall was to be demolished and in 2011 it was. It took about four years for the team to find a new venue that had the proper amount of space for panels, vendors, and guests. No longer being held in Hayward, the team found a new home at the Grand Plaza Inn in Concord, California, where the show continues with the same soul as the previous shows and a new name, the East Bay Comic Con. Okay, so Jumpman and I have walked around the con already. We've seen some pretty cool things. Like, there's a lot of comics, there's a lot of pop culture stuff here, a lot of toys for sure. Um, objective of today, I have one of my Wave variants in my backpack. I have uh, a We Live signed in my backpack, and I have a uh, Megatron bus signed by Frank Welker. And today's objective. What can I get for these? You know, I, I'm definitely not going to, sh- you know, sell myself short. I definitely want to be able to get like a good price or something out of it. But I wonder if I can walk out of here with something worth more than what I have in my backpack. Possible? Let's go see if we can do this. I'm uh, Dave DeWanch. So Van Blitz is a story about a girl named Destiny Harper who she's graduating high school, completely aimless, has no idea what she wants to do with her life. She winds up answering an ad to become a nanny um, in a foreign land. And she, when she signs the contract, she is magically whisked away to a uh, place called Gloomvania where she has to be uh, the headmistress at a, a place called the Nightmare Nursery, which is just a place where vampires and monsters put their baby monsters because they do not want to deal with them. So they recruit humans to take care of them. And that's kind of where our story starts and then leads down a weird, cute, dark, and sweet path. So yeah, really, really cute stuff. We're not dealing with our kids, so we're gonna have somebody else deal with our kids. Yes. We only want we only want them to look pretty and act pretty, but right. when they're being monsters, uh, let let destiny deal with it. Right. Oh, Vamplitz is adorable. I love the plushies. Like they're super cute. Wish we could have brought those as well. And pretty much everyone is just drawn to the table. Well, and, and my at the time my roommate. Um, was uh, the colorist on it and when we were working with the people that created the plushie line they were like it, it is a, sort of a Halloween town this night this bloom venue right but there aren't any oranges or greens it's like purples blues pinks and grays and so if you look at the book if you look at the interior it's it's really beautiful and super consistent and extremely well thought out and uh, and he just knocked it out of the park so there's three yes I'm getting a fourth well, there was a there was a, a series of one shots that came out after the three hardcovers, and uh, we're in talks now to start working on the next series of hardcovers. So uh, hopefully, we can uh, get our stuff together.
So we decided to take a break from the con and we came over here to grab something to eat. This is a very, very fancy institution. Rodney's got some high-end flavor. I was like, you know what? It's across the street from the con. Might as well. Let's go check this out. This place is called to ta Taco Bell. All right, we got our food. This looks this looks crazy expensive, Rod. Like, have you ever been here before? Uh, I spent a good like seven bucks on it. This is seven? Holy crap, dude! That's a seven dollars for this meal. Sure, why not? It's crazy. It's insane. Like these these inflation prices are really getting to me, man. But uh, yeah, dude, this is a fancy looking meal right here. Um, we got one of these wrapped wraps right here. Wraps, right? Is that what they're called? Wraps? Yep. Wrap. Oh, That's when I wrap lumpia. Like when you wrap lumpia. Oh, dude, this is like this cover right here. I can't, I can't get over like how fancy this is right here. This Is this the takeo? Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, yellow shell. Look at this. Sturdy shell or some uh, shredded cheese. See that shredded cheese? There's the oh look, look, it's got some of that. I think that's Greek yogurt, and I'm assuming this is some kind of venison pate. Amazing. Dude. Mm. Oh my god! Oh my god! Fabulous. One of you guys come out to Concord, to go to this con, highly recommend Take Obeal. I don't know what this green punch is. I've never tasted anything like this before, ever in my life. They call this, what is it, Beja Blazed? Beja Blazed. I like I, I have two more of these to go and I don't know if I can finish it. Fabulous. It like oozes from both sides. Like you don't know which way to go. Mm. Mm. Some like a rice and cheese. Kind of messy there. But it's succulent. Awesome. I Never had anything like this before. Oh, you have that blue, blue beverage. What is it? This is Smurf Pea. Is that what this is? Smurf Pea? Is that what it is? Or is that Smurf Pea slushy? I don't know. Yeah, it's half a skin uh, beer. <laughs> yeah. Fabulous. Fabulous. I know, I know I just started this channel not too long ago, but I've, I've never had anything like this before in my life. This is beyond compare. This enormous wrap. Uh, look, the cheese is oozing out of its skin. This is... Oozing like a cheese man. Oh my god, this is amazing. Look at this. Freckled skin with two, maybe three kinds of rice cheeses. This is... Mm. Oh. To die for. Do they have this back in Las Vegas? No, they have more authentic places, but yeah, Authentic, authentic places, and see, they wouldn't, but they need one of these. They need one of these in Las Vegas. This is... Superb. No. As a food blogger, you just, you just want to make sure that everyone out there knows what you're eating, and you want to introduce something new to them. I almost feel saddened that not everyone out there can enjoy something like this. But if you can get a chance, spend the money. Don't deprive yourself. Don't deprive yourself. Take a feel. Mm. Marvelous.
have a huge respect for all you guys that come out to cons that, that know how to sell comics and whatnot because it's it's not easy. I have a couple of books in my backpack that I'm trying to I'm trying to sell, trying to trade, you know, see, seeing if anyone might be interested in. You know, in our community, I'm like, yeah, you know what? Some people I know would probably go out and buy these, but here they're like, no, oh, no, no, it's okay. It's too modern for me. It's too modern. Um, I heard that like seriously, like twice already. Like, oh wait, those books though, no, it's too modern for me. Oh, okay. I, I don't know how to really feel out, you know, some of the cons to see like what what some people want. You know, this I'm relatively new right to the scene so it's like I'm learning some things here so it's good to know that books that I think that are worth a lot some people are like oh no I'm good I'm good I'm good no. all I can do is just you know cool little learning experience but you know I'm not gonna stop what is see I'm still gonna keep going because I have four books that I'm trying to sell and I have a, a, a San Diego comic-con um, Megatron bus that signed by Frank Walker I'm here like let's see if I can trade this in let's see if I can trade this in for something else so Hasn't happened yet. Hasn't happened yet. We did go. We we did. Hey, we did go to Take Mobile, right? <laughs> but uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna check out we're gonna check out some more. We'll see. The day's not done. You know, there's a lot more people to talk to. guys know anytime I come to one of the cons I always want to pick up you know an independent label an independent comic just to just to show the support right I mean Marvel DC you know all the big comic book companies they're gonna get my money in one way or another but when I come to the cons I definitely want to be able to look out for the little guys the people who work their heart out and put their their product out so when I was doing my walk around it, it was the colors the color captured me there's something this is the reason why I wanted to do this so I came here and I went and I went ahead and revisited a group of people and I was like, look, tell me a little bit about this. And that's when I talked to Dave Duanch and Jess Balboni and they were talking to me about their comics and ones that they did. Um, so I was like, you know, I'm super interested. In fact, the art style caught my eye. The colors caught my eye. And it's definitely something for all ages. And that's what they told me. It's an all ages type of comic book. So I went ahead and picked up all three editions of their cute little little <laughs> the way they described it is monsters who have babies and have a human come by and take care of them that's the premise of the story it's basically a human babysitter for monsters so <laughs> picked up vamplets number one volume one vamplets oh nightmare nursery book number two nightmare that's it's their volumes that's what they're wrong. and then number three uh, <laughs> it was cute i'm not gonna lie cuteness captured me and i wanted to read this and this is something that i know eris and mia and dante are gonna they're gonna be able to read so that was one of the main reasons why I picked it up too because it was also for the kids and because I ended up picking up volumes one through four they went ahead and gave me this undead pet society as well this was really cute it was something that I was like you know what let me oh dude the art's pretty sick too <laughs> it, it, okay yes it's kind of cutesy but it's not bad it, it, this is what caught my eye this is this is the reason why i come to these cons because i never would have been able to pick this up over at my lcs right see it here at the con i was like you know what let me get this let me get this for me let me get this for the kids and i know the kids are going to like that right there um dave worked on vamplets this is his his project uh dave duanch i went ahead and followed him on instagram i'll go ahead and drop uh, a link to both jess balboni and dave duanch's um instagrams down in the description below um they also worked on a scout comic called banshees so this is their number one right here i, I don't know anything about it i was just like you know what what is this comic you know what don't tell me what it is uh let me just pick it up so i went ahead and picked because they were here you know why not again it's all about showing support to the local artists because on top of that they're from the bay you know, Dave was saying that he was from San Leandro and um, Jess is from Berkeley. So I was like, you know what, let me support the Bay Area. So I went ahead and picked up these books right here. I know nothing about them. Um, creepy, eerie looking right here. This, this looks fun. This is the ash can right here. So 
and they signed it. It was really cool. They're like, you know what? We'll go ahead and sign it. I'm not mad at a free signature. Um, and then for picking up Banshee, they went ahead and gave me this print too. So you know, I'm pretty sure the book's pretty cool. It's pretty fun, and, and it's something that um, you know I can just go ahead and dive into. It was number one. It's a scout. Uh, scout. It's a, uh, a scout comic. Blah, 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 blah. Scout comic. So you know, they got a little bit of clout behind them. Got a little bit of clout behind them. So th that was it. There, there was really not much that I picked up from today's um, East Bay Comic Con. Um, definitely next time I'm going to keep an eye out for a little bit more, you know, and hopefully I'll be able to find something else that's going to catch my eye. But no matter what, the one thing that I really wanted to do was pick up these was the purple logo. Purple. That was it. <laughs> catch you guys later.